right, this is the start of round two. Got a pretty sweet hand. We have three lands and an Elvish Mystic, so we can go turn to Domri Raid. We also got a Scavenging News and a Miscutter Hydra. So we're definitely not going to roll in this. Nope. Let's see what our opponent has to say about his hand. Alright, so um, my round two opponent never showed up. So we got a win, so we're 2-0 in the daily, but I'm going to uh, go do a two-man for you guys, so we can still have a match, a video for this round. We'll see in one sec. Alright, for our two-man match, we have one the dice roll, so we're going to play first. Um, this hand's fine. We have a cloning tusker, and then we also, like, the next turn, maybe Boon Seder or Kiritid, and go turn four dragon. It seems fine. Rock and Mulligan this. Our opponent kept his 7 also. We'll start out with our Temple of Abandon. See what we have on top. Um, hmm. That's okay. I'm gonna keep that. I'll draw land. I'm not too worried. <laughs> that's a good card. Uh, basic Swamp. Thoughtseize. Yep. So it looks like we're playing against Mono Black Devotion. Let's see what our opponent takes. Maybe the Curated. Probably not this, which is fine, because I want this in play. Do, 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 do. So I'm glad I kept Xenoghost on top. It's good against Mono Black, just like... Okay, so I did take the Keratid. So it kind of sucks that I have to draw a land for a fourth land, but we already have three. So that's, that's a good start. So we'll play our Stomping Ground untapped, play our Tusker. Say go. So probably like a Devour Flesh. They usually play like lots of Devour Fleshes now. Mono Black decks. Or just pack rat, that's pretty good. So we drew fourth land. So we're gonna tack into his pack rat. We're just gonna try a race, because like we don't have a Mizzy Mortars, so the pack rat's gonna get out of hand pretty quickly. So he knows I have the boon savior, let's see what he does. I think I'm gonna go give, uh, try to trade with it, because uh, we're gonna beat him in the race if like we get a kill packer out here, or if we use the removal spell. Like it's still only take one. And he only has one packer out, which is good. So this is why I keep him off pack rats. I think. So next turn we get attack for five. Put him to ten unless he chump blocks. So I'm making a rat here. I think we're in good shape. So if our Xenagos lives, and if both our creatures live, we get to uh, play Stormbreath Dragons. That's good. So put some of 10. I could leave one back to block. I don't think I want to do that. So you get a Hero's Downfall this, but then we're still in fine shape. Like, you didn't make a rat that turn. Thoughtseize. Okay, I'm happy with that. We have two dragons, same card. So we can't attack. You can. Mm, yeah, you can't really attack here. So we drew the land so we can make a token and just play our dragon. So we're in pretty good shape. So he has to kill a dragon or block. And if he kills a dragon and doesn't block, he's taking seven going to one. Turns off thought season and underworld connections. Okay, yeah, so he kills the dragon. Jump blocking going to four. And one thing mono black can't really do is uh come back from lots of creatures. Once you get like two or three creatures ahead of them, it's hard for them to come back, especially low life, because they don't have any sweepers. And Shrivel won't do it. So it goes sideboarding. Um, for this matchup, I just want hammers, really, and Rook Thar. Um, Plukernos is not that good. It's okay. Hmm. Uh, Mortars is okay, but it's not the best here. Oh yeah, Miscutters aren't that good either. 
Let's put the rock Thars and the Hammers. Oh, we'll try this out. I could put in Destructive Revelry, but it just kills Unwell Connections. Hmm. Could bring in Shocks. I thought about, I thought about bringing Shocks, but they only kill Pack Rat. Uh, the list from the Grand Prix is actually playing Plummet and Arbor Colossus. I don't think you need it. But we'll see. Like, it's good against Desecration Demon, obviously. Um, we're not going to Mulligan this hand. We have a Mana Guy and a turn to something, either Domri or Mystic. So let's see, he has a Thoughtseize. So he's going to either take a Domri or the Hammer. Probably the Hammer. Like, he can never deal with this card once it's in play. So we can't turn to it because we don't have a Stomping Ground. So he took the Domri, like I thought he would. So I just got to play Forest Mystic. He drew a land, that's unfortunate. He's trying to draw spells now. He has a Mute Vault, so we can't really attack. Oh, but we drew a Domri, so we're going to play that. We still can't play this hammer like for a little bit. Let's see what we hit off Domri. It's in a, oh. <laughs> it looks like a creature. I always want to put in my hand. Alright, it's so next turn. I'll just play like a. We'll see what he does. So he's going to kill my elf here on end step. Like if he has Devour Flesh, he might as well just use it now. Oh, ultimate price. Interesting. Okay. Like, it, Devour Flesh is like only kill Mystics at that point, so it's always right to just kill those. Our opponent did not have a play. Um, I guess we'll play this Temple. Keep a creature on top. We can plus one Domri. Yeah, it's a combo. <laughs> Get that into our hand. And play our Elvish Mystic and say go. So this hand's probably just full removal. Probably just gonna kill our Mystic here. Nope, nope. So he kept the two lander and has not gotten there, unfortunately. Unfortunate for him. <laughs> Another Storm Breath. Okay, that seems to be good. And our Dahmer's also at 6. So we're just going to play Dragons. So, like, he's a little too far behind. But, like, uh, he kept a sketchy hand, and I don't think it's going to work out for him. Like, he needs to kill his Dahmer. Like, if he draws a Swamp, he probably has a Hero's Downfall so he can kill it. Yep. Ooh, life pain. Okay, so he gets my boon Seder. It's pretty good against me. It's another reason to take out Plukronoses and a Mist Cutters, just because expensive green creatures usually get. Like a lot of decks play like three life pain zombies now for mono black. So Drew Land. Play Xenoghost, doesn't do anything. Play Hammer and Xenoghost. No, I can't do that. I'll play Xenoghost. Um, I think we're just gonna since we can't ultimate Domri. I'm just gonna kill his life bane because he's gonna take three off this anyways. Might just kill his life bane and get one more damage in with the uh, Mystic. Attack for five. And if we draw land, we can ultimate it. It'll take like three damage maybe. I haven't played Hammer yet. I kind of really want to get this in play. It's really good against him. Oh, that's not a good play. That's not going to do much. He's very close to being just dead. Um, I guess we'll play this Temple, see if it's a creature on top. Um, I don't want that, even though it's a creature. I think I'm gonna play Hammer this turn. Yeah, it's a mountain. Even though we can't ultimate Storm Breath, I'd rather just make a guy. Now we get attack for seven. I mean, we can't monstrous, it's not ultimate. So he's at six, so I think we have this game. We got a Dom, we got a Hammer, we got a Dragon, all these things he has to deal with. 
And this you can't deal with. Yep, all right. So that went pretty good. We uh, handily disposed of a mono black opponent. And that goes for our second video. And we'll see you at the start of round three.